And there we go, a bit of damage. Although it does seem to be quickly buttoned by those troops and the Bren guns do seem to be rather swift in tearing through it. But nonetheless, sappers are taking heavy damage and of course it's a nice position for of course the mortar to drop in some grenades. And armored command truck moving straight past of course alerting me to the fact there will be an armored command truck up. Second grenadier team is out. And this chap is rather surprisingly strong. We are seeing a second clash with the clearing station up though. Rather quick end getting that up. And mortar rounds continuing to land. Not landing any kills though it seems. And a second third section is out. And looks like this flame for a half track didn't do that much again. Too bad though. Can get away with quite a bit but for some reason it didn't quite have the desired effect. Mortar though continuing to blast away. Stuart Light Tank on the field. Grenadiers are nearby and of course now we are seeing a vast blob. Two veterans with one lieutenant of course I do dislike that stacking of lieutenant veterans I never understood why it should be that. This is not exactly going to be conducive for good tactics. Grenades being dropped, assault once more, ever nice against blobs as they are usually not exactly tools of finesse thus making them rather nice targets. Of course continuing to getting stunned and suffering heavy losses. Stuart is nearby but not doing much, Sappers having suffered heavily. And the mortar ever nicely present, ready to drop some shots and might even could of course land a few rounds here doing quite a bit of damage. Now getting ready for some stormtroopers and Sturm Armory is ready. Might be going for a stook soon, of course, seeing that armored command truck will, of course, give me the impression that he's probably going to go for some armor. For that, I will probably be needing a stook. Stuart moving in, forcing those false grenades to get out. Still nothing out of the Sturm Armory, though. There we go. Stuck four. Not that the third pan second Panzer Division had those stooks, but then again, I might be wrong. Stooks being sort of handed out to all Panzer Divisions due to the fact that otherwise the German industry will not be able to equip all of the Panzer Divisions equally with armor. So in most cases Stooks were sort of given out as an Ersatz Panzer that is replacement tank and sort of used and of course the German commanders were quick to sort of make sense of it and use it reasonably. So this is of course some fun facts there. And Volksgren is on the move, might be caught out in the open there, not the best position to try and sort of make a break out in. And my goodness, Stuart Light Tank is moving in, Assault Grenades being dropped and... Oh dear, Volksgren are getting absolutely torn apart again. Open terrain is not the best and now Grenadiers are getting torn apart, forced to retreat and those Spren guns are, are absolutely beasts when it comes to tearing apart units even on the retreat. And of course that is why I... Yeah. So of course combine this with lieutenant stacking, of course it does get a bit tiresome at times. Just lots of brand guns again, it sort of makes me long for the LMG42 being useful. Oh relic if you do hear this. Do buff it in a patch. And just, just lost three infantry teams or at least two, that's of course not the best situation. Retrancy coming up for my armor and going straight for open assault support. Opting for a stu 42 rather realizing I've just lost a lot of inventory. What can I do? Well, I could change tactics and go for a rather heavier blow approach now that I do have some sh armor, at least in terms of stukes. And thus, I opt for the stu 42 rather nice at dealing with the huge clumps of British infantry. And of course, something tells me he's not going to have peered since his sappers are with repair equipment. Thus, giving that a slight advantage. So opting rather for heavy presence, opting for a rather heavy assault and of course at the same time he's moving rather heavily towards the west. Thus meaning that my assault will be undeterred for a while and there we go. Stu 42, Sturmhaubitze, equipped with the 105mm howitzer. It is able to land some serious blows, of course it does have that sort of curious thing where some of the shells are apparently compressed air, not doing much damage. Cromwell on the field and running straight into the arc of fire off the pack 38. Stuke of course will have to move in to sort of deal with this. Pants of us being fired and the pack moving about. Stu 42 even firing in just for it. something. But the Cromwell is quickly damaged, engine is 
in a lot of trouble and of course now taking a lot of fire and is out of control thus minimizing the total damage and of course causing him some grievous losses opening up for my Stug Abteilung to lead the charge so there we go Pack also getting ready to fire some rather nice shots Cromwell command tank a bit too late to actually command anything and the pack 38 getting closer opening fire on the Stuart light tank which seems to have been forgotten but it does manage to get out of there but with heavy losses British troops charging in but the Stu 42 forces them backwards oh the horror for him of course for me it's a glorious moment and in fact I do believe I've forgotten about our opponent what is he gone for he has gone for Royal Engineers a bit interesting though for what purposes I cannot say but this casual cleaning station number two will soon be lost nothing coming out there and he is finally going for 17 pounder gun but I can't help it's a bit too late when you have to put it up when you're under fire from Stu 42s and Stukes brand gunner spotting up the Stu 42 but the Stu 4 charges in crushing the brand gunners of course opening up for the Stu 40 to blast away and 17 pounder gun stopped in construction the sappers just can't do it under such heavy fire but apparently return to the task few joining in from reinforcements but it's just not doing well pack having a bit of troubles with a steward light tank flanking about 17 pounder gun though cleared out and Stuke knocks out the steward and we shall be returning quickly to me this is certainly not the best of situation for the British rather opting a bit too heavily for his blobs not really preparing for any sort of armored incursion which is most unfortunate for him so when things finally did arrive he's sort of in trouble infantry trying to make a sort of left hook around the situation one lieutenant with veterancy too though and casualty clearing station is cleared out and there we go flanking maneuver on the pack but running straight into the flame front of course false gun is nearby ready to assault forcing them into a retreat and straight into the line of fire off the assault guns You're losing a sector. and what is this coming out of the armor command truck a firefly would certainly be able to do something against those stooks but again rather depends on him being able to actually get it up in time and not knocked out by all of my armor and of course the pack 38 which will most likely be joining in the fun now yes there we go armor command truck really under a lot of fire now and veterans 2 still continuing giving some light machine guns for my armor and my goodness heavy losses for the British looks like no no lieutenant's gone and the last of the Scottish are huddled here behind the Vokash hoping to survive armor command track is gone and thus the last hope of the 15 Scottish of turning the tide instead the Stu 4 and of course the Stu 42 get ready to charge in and really have some fun and now the mortar is joining in as well it seems like landing some nicely placed grenades amongst the British troops desperate to try and repair the Cromwell command tank for a reason and there we go game over the second panzer division secured the victory against the Britisher so what can we learn from this well blobbing isn't really going to be the sort of key that wins you the game if your opponent now to deal with it mortars assault grenades flame throws all of these things really good tools as you saw in sort of dealing with this clumped up sort of infantry assaults of course be careful with open cover and the particular negative cover as you saw I really lost heavily right there and that was of course a bad move from me of course I was then capable of course changing my sort of strategy and tactics to sort of rather heavy on armor since I sort of gambled with the fact that he wouldn't really have anything that could really deal with it since of course his sabers were equipped with expert repair equipment and probably not having any PR, so I opted for the Stukes and Stu 42s and was of course able to blast through his positions of course the Stu 42 being really good and dealing again also with clumped up British infantry and really telling them that is a bad idea so there you go I hope you enjoyed this fight if you did why not subscribe or tell your friends if you didn't well why not send in a replay of your own this is Imperial Lane saying don't blob cheers